Today we know white light is made of the seven colors of the rainbow. But how did we figure this thing out? Well, you may already know the answer to this. Prisms. Prisms are usually pieces of glass which have two triangular faces which are connected by three rectangular faces like this. And you may already know the famous experiment that when you shine white light through a prism, it splits into the seven colors of the rainbow. But here's the question. If we were to perform this experiment for the very first time, do you think we could conclude based on this experiment that white light is made of seven colors? Personally, I don't think so. You know what I would conclude? I would conclude that the prism is just creating the colors. I mean, think about it. Why would anyone think that the white light is made of seven colors? and that these colors are bending differently and that's why we're getting colorations. Why would anyone think like that? And so the popular opinion back then was pretty much that white light is just white light. I mean, why would you assume it's made up of seven colors? It's just like any other color. White is a single color. And when it, when it passes through the prism, the prism paints that white color into different uh, other colors like red and, and green and blue and yellow and everything. So the prism is creating the colors. That was the popular opinion back then. That's what people actually concluded, that the prism creates colors. So what we're gonna explore in this video is how did we figure out that that prism doesn't create colors, but the colors were already present in the white light and the prism is just bending them differently. It takes a genius to figure out that this, this theory that the prism is creating colors is actually wrong. And that genius is no other than Sir Isaac Newton. He believed in the scientific method, which means if you want to check whether your theory is right or wrong, then all you have to do is perform an experiment. Now this might seem super obvious now, but back then people didn't do this. People just went with their intuition. If an explanation or a theory felt satisfactory to them, they, they believed in it. And so, um, this this theory that prism creates colors was very satisfactory, right? That's what it looks like even from this drawing. And so people went with it. But Newton asked himself, could I perform an experiment to really check whether prism is really creating colors or not? And one of the first experiments he, he did was he put another prism in front over here. The logic was if prism can create colors out of white light, maybe it can create more colors out of red and blue and yellow and other colors that we're getting over here. So he wanted to check whether he can get even more colors out of this. And what he saw was he didn't get any more colors. He got the same colors again, which means our prism cannot create more colors out of these seven colors. So that made him a little suspicious about this theory. Why is it that the prism is only creating more colors out of white light? Why is it not creating more colors out of these other colors? But this doesn't completely disprove our theory, right? Maybe white light is special. Maybe only when you shine white light on the prism, it starts creating these colors. That's still possible, right? So he performs a second experiment and this experiment confirms his suspicion. And the second experiment is he takes that prism and he keeps it inverted in front of the first prism. And you know what he finds on the other side over here? Now he just sees white light. By looking at this, he immediately realized that the prism was not creating colors, but instead those colors were already present in the white light and the prism is just bending them differently. And that's how he figured out that white light is actually made of seven colors. And even we can figure this out now just by continuing this ray diagram. So let's see. If these two prisms are identical and they're made up of the same material, then these rays of light, as they move from this prism to this prism, they will not bend, they will not refract because they are moving in the same medium. They're not changing their medium. And as a result, these rays of light will go just straight, continue in their path. But when the rays of light emerge out, Notice we can treat this whole thing as a single parallel sided medium. And we've already studied in previous videos that any ray of light which emerges out of a parallel sided medium will always be parallel to the incident ray. 
And as a result, we can now further draw and we will see that the red, the blue, all the colors must come out parallel over here. And so we can go ahead and draw this and this is what it would look like. But as mentioned earlier, this does not look colored to us. This looks white to us. And here's a picture of this. Notice the emerging light, this is a pretty similar scenario. The emerging light is white. Why is it looking white? Well, we've talked about this in previous videos. The main reason for this is because the incoming light does not contain just one single ray of light. It contains multiple rays of light. A beam is always a collection of rays. So if you were to consider, let's say, one more ray of light, ray, one, one more ray of white light, then even that would split into colors. And now notice the emerging red color is overlapping with the blue color of the first ray. Can you see that? And similarly, if there was another ray of light somewhere in between, then maybe its yellow would start overlapping with the blue. And so because all the colors are emerging out parallel to each other, when we consider all the rays of light, all the colors eventually uh, overlap with each other. And because this is looking white to us, we can now conclude when the colors are overlapping or when the colors are mixing, that's what appears white to us. So maybe that's how Newton concluded that white light is not a separate, white is not a separate color. The prism is not really, you know, um, creating other colors. White is a combination, a mixture of all the colors of the rainbow. And maybe that's how Newton guessed or Newton realized that the prism is what, what the prism is really doing. It's just bending the light differently. And of course, he may have also performed other experiments to support his argument. One of the other famous experiment is the Newton's disk. So what he did is he took a disk, divided it into seven parts, painted them with the seven colors of the rainbow, and then he spun it very quickly. And he supposedly saw it as white. And this is something we can also try at home. And you will pretty much see white light, again confirming that when all the colors of light fall on our eyes, that's what we perceive as white. So white is made of mixture of the seven colors of rainbow. So what I want to highlight here is that the experiments performed by Newton were very simple, but its conclusions were groundbreaking. This created a scientific revolution because it changed the way we thought about light and colors.